Welcome to Cinebites, a cinematic culinary podcast where we talk about movies and we eat a lot of food in those mm-hmm. movies. So today we're going to talk about The Founder, uh, which if you haven't seen it, it is a good one. Uh, Michael Keaton lovers out there, you will not be disappointed. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to eat some good food. You probably will guess it if you've seen the movie, what food we're going to eat. And mm-hmm. uh, we're just going to dive right in. So feast, feast your eyes. eyes. Yeah, so here we are with the founder. Yeah, the founder. This one is um, this one's a a good one. It's interesting. Yeah, because it's like a it's like a historic um, kind of biography biographical film. Yeah, um, but it's still obviously a drama. It's pretty interesting. I think we've only have we only done. I'm trying to think of of a movie that we've done that's based on a true story. And I thought we did one, but I can't remember what it was. Um, but this is based on a true story uh, about the uh, McDonald's and how it was uh, founded. Founded, yeah. <laughs> so rightfully so. Uh, one McDonald's is not a paid advertisement for this. I wish they were. Um, they could always hit us up. <laughs> hit us but up. we are going to be eating McDonald's on uh, today's show. Yeah, so might as well reveal it. Might as well reveal it. This is. Uh, yes. Go ahead and talk about that if you want. So we got burgers and fries, and then of course our sodas. I think yeah. we both have Sodies. maybe diet coke because mm-hmm. we're, you know, that's the way it is. And we also have a milkshake. Mm-hmm. Um, you wouldn't think to initially get a milkshake, but in the movie, Ray Kroc, the main character who uh, founded McDonald's, he didn't create it, but he founded the franchises. Yeah. Um, he was originally a milkshake machine salesman mm-hmm. at least according to the movie the only history i know of it is from the movie yeah it could be true. all wrong <laughs> yeah <laughs> but at least in the movie he's a milkshake salesman he's going around trying to sell them and he gets a customer who's um in california i think it's san bernardino i think is where it is um in california and uh they are ordering like give us eight milkshake machines and he's yeah. like because he thought needs, it was a who needs to make first. Yeah, he thought it was a misorder or a mistake. So he cuz they originally ordered 4 and he called them and he said, "Actually, can we double that and make it 8?" And he's yeah. like, "Why do you need 8? You how, why do you need to make 40 milkshakes at once?" Right. And um and then he gets there and he's w- very much impressed by the company and how fast cuz it was very wildly popular at this one m- location. There's the McDonald brothers. Yep. So anyway, that's why we have a milkshake and there's also a part in the movie where he meets an, another businesswoman who proposes using milkshake powdered mixes rather than doing real homemade milkshakes yeah. to save time and to save money. Yeah. And so that's milkshakes have a big role in the hamburgers and milkshakes. That's another reason we got just the normal che- single yep. cheeseburgers rather than a Big Mac because the Big Mac didn't really exist um, back then when McDonald's had first started. Yeah. It was later a creation. Um, so we just both have Good old classic single, single McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah. Not much to it. Mm. There you go. That tastes like a burger. So, um, we're now when this move then when this episode comes out, we're now two months through the year. Mm-hmm. But beginning of twenty twenty four, yeah, new year, new us. Mm-hmm. We started a weight loss challenge. Mm-hmm. And um, so maybe across these episodes, you might see us starting to slim down a little bit. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Maybe we'll get see. bigger. We're literally <laughs> eating McDonald's. Um, Not great. <laughs> uh, I've already lost a, a decent amount. We both have. Yeah. Um, but I was telling him that this is going to be my first burger that I've had since I've gone on a diet. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is good. And like it's- not even McDonald's burger, just any burger. Mm-hmm. Which is yeah. sad because I love burgers. Because we've been really trying to take out fast food. Mm-hmm. And you know McDonald's, even still, is the kind of the king of fast food. I mean, there's oh, so snap. many different McDonald's locations everywhere. I don't think any other fast food chain has done what McDonald's has done just yet. Um, McDonald's is just insane. Like you can go to any um, like no name town, and there would most likely be a McDonald's there mm-hmm. at least, mm-hmm. or a Subway. 
Seems like subways are everywhere. Subway's too. another one. They're um, I don't know if they hold it anymore, but a few years ago, Subway had the most locations out of any fast food. Oh wow! Chain. Mm. Um, In the U.S. I, or worldwide? Worldwide. Oh wow! And McDonald's is not far behind, but I actually think I don't remember which one it is. I think Starbucks might have caught up and is now beating um, Subway. Oh wow! In terms of locations, because Starbucks is another one of those. When Starbucks, was, I mean, just in our town alone, but there's like five Starbucks. Oh yeah. One, Wait. two, one, three, four, five, five. Well, are you counting just the big city? I'm also counting surrounding. No, I'm counting bl- all just Bloomington. Oh wow. I mean, I guess in Ellettsville too. There's one. Mm-hmm. In Ellettsville, then there's one. There's two on the west side of town, one on the east side of town. That's four, and then there's one in Target. That's wow, five. crazy! And actually, there's one in the Kroger on the west side now, so that's six. And there's, I think, there might be one on the Kroger on the east side as well. So that's seven. Wow. I think that's how they get those numbers is because they get put into those grocery stores and big stores like Target. Most, they must have most some every dealer, tar- yeah. Most every Target has a Starbucks in it now. Yeah, they must have some deal with Target specifically, because mm-hmm. you do see them everywhere. And so, not only just those locations, but their own standalone locations. Mm-hmm. Mm. So, I got no. Man, I haven't had fast food in a while. Yeah. <laughs> so uh oh, <laughs> danger. Uh oh. Um, I kind of told you about this. Uh, so 2016, I told you about this. Um. I was kind of hoping this would be a three P uh, best picture for mm. Michael Keaton because two years prior, Michael Keaton got it for Birdman, Birdman. Yep. and then he got it for Spotlight, which you said you never heard Spotlight. of it. I never well, heard of it. You heard of it, but you didn't see it. So one came. It was 2014, 2015. I've actually never seen Birdman either. Both are really good. So good. But in 2016, uh, I'm not sure who won the Oscar. Uh, who won? It was probably Joe. Best picture for 2000. Joe. Joe, Joe. won it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, no, wait. Joe Mama. No, wait. That was Spotlight. Spotlight 2015. No, wait. Okay. So 2017. Let's see who won 2017. Um, Moonlight. Okay. Okay. So mm. Moonlight, you were going up against Moonlight. And, uh, I mean, Moonlight, you know. It I'm won. not saying it. It, it won. won. <laughs> so that's all you're gonna say. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. It won. It won. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, but the founder, and maybe that wasn't Michael Keaton's best performance, but I'm a big Michael Keaton fan, and it would have been cool to see a three peat for him. But um, yeah, it is what it I is. I mean, the movie is called The Founder. It could basically just be called Ray Kroc, mm-hmm. and M- Michael Keaton plays Ray Kroc. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's literally just him the entire time. Mm-hmm. He carries the movie because yeah. it's only about him and his... I mean, it is about the story about McDonald's, mm-hmm. but it follows his side of the story and how it goes for him. Because there are the McDonald brothers and they do play a part, yeah. but it's not like we're side by side with the McDonald brothers the whole time. Yeah. We're side by side with Ray Kroc the entire time. Mm-hmm. And it's a... It's an interesting movie. The fact that they can make a decent dramatization out of something like this. But I think they can do that because Ray Kroc makes some, you know, sleazy deals and does some not nothing illegal ever, but just like jerk moves. I mean, Mm -hmm. it doesn't paint Michael Keaton's character, Ray Kroc, in any sort of good light Mm -mm. other than. Maybe you could just say his resilience and his will to want to become a successful businessman. You can give him that yeah. because he was that. But he he wrecked his marriage because he had he had eyes for this other woman, ended up marrying this other woman, divorcing his wife, basically scamming the McDonald brothers out of their own business. It does not make him look good at all. Mm-hmm. Right. But, I mean, in all that sense, um, you know, he – He's the one who came out on top, on top. you know, uh, through that. And and like you said, we didn't really go through to see how much of it was accurately depicted. But I imagine it was pretty close. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, he became a billionaire. Um, 
doing so. He lived till 82. I'm looking at right now. Eh. Former CEO of McDonald's. <clears throat> yeah. But um, so that's, you know, that's pretty crazy story because a lot of people don't see the behind the scenes when certain things blow up like, uh, you know, like Walmart or other places like mm-hmm. that. You usually just see um, it everywhere. And McDonald's is definitely one of those things that you see everywhere. But you don't know. You would assume that it was like, oh, it was the McDonald's brothers who are the ones who built it up and, and got it to that point but there's more more than meets the eye it was the mcdonald brothers restaurant and their concept it was the first ever restaurant with this sort of fast food thing yeah because it was basically a walk-up at least depicted in the movie it was a walk-up window which i'm pretty sure this is accurate walk-up window only a few things on the menu you know hamburger 50 cents or something Mm-hmm. Back in this is back in the fifties, hamburger. I wish it was. A it was like cents. fifteen cents. I yeah, think, maybe even day. less. Um, but you go up and you he ordered it, and literally ten seconds later they handed him his food, and he's mm. like, "What? What's this?" He's like, "Like that's your food." And mm-hmm. Like oh, like that came so quick, and so just the fact that they basically, I think the system was really just having a simplified menu. Mm-hmm. First of all, with uh, things that are simple to prepare and then preparing a lot of them just ahead of time and they're just constantly just putting out burgers yeah so that all they got to do is pack it up and give it to them right and isn't it crazy that that once you see a big idea explode you it's always it, it always seems to come back to be one of the more simpler things yeah you're too. like that makes so much sense you're like why didn't i think of that you <laughs> yeah. know and so one one example of that is my my grandpa would always say <clears throat> is uh when uh starbucks was starting to become more popular and you hear on the news people are paying five dollars for a small coffee mm-hmm. he's like he's like no one's ever gonna spend five dollars on a coffee and now you see people spend five dollars on a coffee almost every single day. Yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, if he were to have been like, wait, maybe people are going to do this and invest a whole lot into Starbucks. I mean, but it's such a simple thing. And and really, if you think about it, I mean, that's it's not that complicated to make coffee. But like if you bump it up and people are willing to buy, you're going to mm-hmm. you're going to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and same with McDonald's is such a simple concept. It's like. Okay, you know, you're st- you're you really have to break yourself out of what the norm was. And at the norm, you go to a restaurant or you eat home at dinner, you have a plate and fork and whatever. Mm-hmm. It never thought to them it's like, "Oh, well, I can get throwaway stuff or I could make or these th- items so much faster mm-hmm. and convenient for people." Yeah, in plastic or plastic yeah. or paper wrapping. Yeah. Make it really fast, convenient and cheap. But you only have a couple Ray Crocs or a couple people like that who will see the dollar signs mm -hmm. from it and then take advantage. And and we talked about this a little bit before when we were kind of talking about the movie. Um, I don't know how accurate this is, but kind of in the end of the movie, after they do this deal, um, I think – I don't know when the deal went down. You could probably look it up. But the deal between Ray Kroc and the McDonald brothers – when he bought the company from them, mm-hmm. bought the name from them, because he was their franchisee and worked kind of under them. Mm-hmm. So whenever he had to do something, he had to he had to talk to them about it. And he was the one that convinced them to franchise in the first place. And so um, they get to the end there, and he doesn't want to be under the McDonald brothers anymore. He wants to expand it into much bigger and – and actually, before this, he c- turned it into more of a real estate business. Yeah. He changed the name to just something um, uh, realty and then was buying the land in which the McDonald's were at mm-hmm. and then leasing it to the franchise owners, which is how they made a lot of his money. Yeah. But then they get to the end and he buys the McDonald name from the McDonald brothers for like two and a half million dollars or something. Yeah. Crazy. Which is just insane. Now, obviously, that's probably more from inflation. Yeah. But that is not <clears throat> even a fraction of what McDonald's oh, is worth. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And so um, they got absolutely stomped on with that deal. And I think um, their original proposal was 
that much money plus like one percent of the revenue or something yeah and uh ray Kroc denied them that one percent or something yeah. they said i don't he's like i don't want to give you that one percent because he knew that it was going to be big too right right one percent of billions of billions dollars billions is going to be is going to be a lot so crazy um just that's that's basically where the movie ends is after not long after that deal and yeah. he basically won he got yeah. what he wanted in kind of a jerk move kind of way yeah but um <clears throat> It's really interesting. I do wonder how um, accurate the movie is to mm-hmm. the actual real story. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I like I- to think that they played up his kind of jerkiness, but it's weird. Maybe it's just Michael Keaton's performance. He's a jerk in terms of what he did, mm-hmm. but he's kind of very charming and charismatic. Yeah. At Like he very easily convinced them to do these different things. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you're, you're like mad at him, but then you're also like, he seems like a nice guy, you, but it's obviously like he's doing that on purpose. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You so, kind of have to, to get the amount of success. And I don't you know, have to know how to wheel and deal. Yeah. I don't know how much of that is actually Michael Keaton's performance or if that's based off of Ray Kroc. I don't know how much was known about Ray Kroc in terms of his, demeanor and things right. i'm sure that michael keaton did his research on that before he played the role oh but for sure yeah anyway. but i mean i think yeah he passed away in the 80s so i don't mm-hmm. know i mean you'd have to just refer to like older film but um but i imagine i mean it's not hard to mimic someone who's i guess power hungry or a businessman who's power hungry and just wanting mm-hmm. to be very successful you know but i mean michael keaton just does a good job and i think everything he does i I can taste the powdered milkshake we haven't rated it yet oh yeah let's rate it dinner and a movie uh we're rating the movie with the so food so maybe it's just because i haven't had fast food in a while (laughs) you got right now i will say right now real quick top uh i'll just say top three fast food places go my top three? Yeah. Uh, Chick-fil-A's one. Okay. Chick-fil-A's Solid. up there. Um, I would say uh, Culver's, if you're in the Midwest. Ooh. I do like a good Culver's. Um, and then um, I know there's a feud between these two, and I have had both, and I personally like this one better. Um, a lot of people disagree with this. But uh, mm-hmm. well, actually, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that back. I'm not even gonna get into that battle. Um, l- so Chick Fil A, Culver's, and then this is a personal favorite of mine: uh, Cookout from the East Coast. I've never been there. Oh, I, l- I like I like a good um, cookout. I think number one, just out of like frequency for me going there, has got to be Taco Bell. Yeah, Taco Bell. I know some people, it's not the greatest quality, but I don't know. I just love me some Taco Bell mm-hmm. every time I get it. And even on my diet, they have some more options that can be a little bit healthier. Yeah. So I've gone there a couple of times. Uh, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A would probably be number two. Mm-hmm. Number three is hard. I don't know if mine was in any particular order. Number three, three. I mean, that's true. Um, It's hard for me because there's like – Five Guys. Yeah. Love Five Guys. Would you There's consider that sh- fast food, though? Do they have a drive-thru? Uh, I, I consider fast food if you have a drive-thru. Hmm. That's a good point. But I, I usually, I don't know. But then there's also, like, In-N-Out, which is very good. And then there's Shake Shack. Yeah. Those are the two that feud. Is that In-N-Out, what you're going to bring up? No, In-N-Out and Whataburger are the two that I think feud the most. Because, really? Oh, yeah. Because if I'm you're from sure Texas. Because, because... Shake Shack's like the East Coast thing, and then well, in and out the West Coast. Well, I think it's because so many people from Texas are so prideful of Whataburger. I hear that Whataburger is just bad. I That's actually, what I, hear. I actually don't. I was actually going to say I like Whataburger. I've never had and, it, and I've only been there. You know, every I've every time I've been there, I've personally liked it. From what I've talked to, for people who've had it more than two or three times, which is me. Uh, they say it gets old pretty fast, but mm-hmm. I don't know because I've only had it two or three times. I I guess I will. <clears throat> I, th- I I'm considering Shake Shack fast food. 
Mm-hmm. So I think I'd put Shake Shack above those other burger places, but they're all really I love In and Out, Shake Shack, and Five Guys. Like all of them. Like I will never. What's say your no least to. favorite? Least favorite fast food, probably KFC. Yeah, KFC's, KFC or yeah. or, or uh, Subway. Those are both. I don't. I hate Subway. Yeah, I'm not a big uh, Burger King fan. Burger King, Burger I wouldn't say it's the me. worst, but it's it's it is lower. Yeah, um, I like their breakfast. Their and breakfast actually, some way, in some ways, some things at Burger King I like better than some things at McDonald's. Mm, mm-hmm. McDonald's is honestly really not that high for me either. I think it's just because it gets old, and usually the quality is not that great. Yeah, for sure. But anyway, yeah. I just figured we'd go on that little tangent. Yeah, I think I, we named almost all the fast food. <laughs> yeah. Pretty close. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But I don't I don't like KFC. Subway's yeah, bad. Yeah, KFC's not the best. Anyway, oh, I love Popeyes, too. Ooh, I could do a good Popeyes. Popeyes. You and Wendy's, honorable mention. I honorable like mention. Yeah. I will honorably mention yeah. Popeyes. <laughs> Culver's is solid, too, but yeah. I don't know if I... Anyway, I'm giving this a 9.1 total. Ooh, I give it an 8. So Wow, yeah, I went a lot pretty, higher than you. Yeah, but I mean, I, I nothing I wrong with it. I think it's because it. even though it's fast food, and even though it's not my favorite fast food, it's just hitting the spot right oh, now. Yeah. I think it's just because <laughs> I haven't had it in forever, <laughs> yeah. and I haven't had a milkshake in that forever. Either. The milkshake was really good. And the milkshake, I can taste the powder. It's so good. <laughs> it's so and good. the I burger the is solid. I love just a plain old McDonald's cheeseburger like oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. And, of course, Diet Coke. My favorite drink. Yeah. I mean, uh, really nothing to complain about. They all and were really good. The movie is probably, honestly, lower in the rating than this. The McDonald's just kind of bumps it up. Yeah. Slightly for me, but just because it's it's McDonald's. You can't really go wrong. Yeah. I mean, honestly. No, it was it was all really good. Uh, the movie was good. I had it a good. little bit lower, and then I brought it even higher. Yeah. it's And it's even fun. It, it, it's even fun. Uh, we didn't watch this while eating this, but I imagine it would be fun to just eat like you know classic mcdonald's you know burger big mac sure whatever <laughs> and and do that while watching the founder you know because i yeah. i imagine you know having that side by side was it was just kind of cool to see like where it's come from where it's at now and honestly and, now i could be wrong and, and it could and it could be just that in the movie they wanted to depict it that way but the burgers like the single cheeseburgers that they have in the movie look almost the same as these yeah like i don't think the single cheeseburger has changed at all yeah in terms of like what's on it um i'm sure the ingredients have changed over time and evolved and whatever but mostly it looks the same so it's kind of taking taking it back to the roots yeah mcdonald's in the 50s so yeah i think uh i think another another movie you probably don't want to see uh while eating this is supersize me Oh, because which is a great documentary, by the we way. Watched but that it's in health class. I yeah, think. <laughs> it's an eye opener, but you may not want to be eating McDonald's while watching it. But uh, yeah, pretty honestly, it made me hungry for McDonald's <laughs> yeah. when I watched that. You just want a little more. Like, I don't want McDonald's. <laughs> well, uh, what we can do right now. Um, I mean, I is there anything else you want to say about Founder? Um, I mean, no, it was all something really about good. McDonald's. I saw something the <clears> other day <throat> about the guy. That holds the records for the most Big Macs eaten in a lifetime. Well, it's like 10,000. Oh, wow. Like really? He, that seems lower. I don't know. I, I'd have to look. I mean, at, it's, maybe. it's still a crazy amount. I'm not trying to downplay that. That's World a crazy amount. Record but I know there's most. a guy, the guy that was at least in um, Super Size Me, he was a thinner guy, mm-hmm. but he said he eats McDonald's oh, every single day. 33,000. Oh, wow. 400 Big Macs in his lifetime. <sighs> Uh, as per last verified uh, record two days ago, this was posted. That's wild. Uh, this guy, man, he. I think I. I think I saw the video. He had like a thing where he, when he buys the Big Mac, he keeps the receipt, and then he combines all the receipts together for that month, and then combines all the receipts from that month into a year. So he has receipts. Like wow. This guy can prove that he ate 33,400 wow. Big Macs. Or at least he, he keeps, can prove he bought. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sure he ate them. Yeah. And he's not actually a huge dude either. Yeah. He's kind of a goofy looking guy. But <laughs> I um, wonder if it's the same guy that was in the in the documentary. Does he have long hair? I can't even see your computer. He does right. have long hair. Maybe it is the guy, same guy. 
Maybe it is. Yeah, but there was a guy in uh, in the movie uh, or in the documentary because there was the when they had the super size everything going around. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's why they had to like include calories on their thing. Had to mm-hmm. uh, take away the super size because the super size was insane. But I think he was in that movie too. Oh, the guy you were talking about, but. Interesting. Well, yeah. So good movie. The I, I have a good. lot of catching up to do. Thirty three thousand four hundred. <laughs> yeah. If you want to hit that, I, mean, I don't know how many Big it. Macs I've eaten in my life. I don't. I don't know. Big Mac wasn't really my go to. I'm it, usually more of a quarter pounder kind of guy. Yeah. I'm. I'm a McDouble. Mm. I'm a McDouble. McDouble or, <laughs> or quarter McChicken. pound. I do the quarter pound. Oh, McChicken. Yeah. McChicken's. But I do too. get a Big Mac on occasions when I would go to McDonald's more. But I don't usually go to mcdonald's that often especially now on my diet yeah new year new me (laughs) it's for the best i guess you know we're one but if i start now i might be able to catch up Thirty-three thousand. how many is that per day if you how many would he have to eat one for every meal yeah for a few years to get to that number i don't know it's but you you would have a lot to getting a lot to catch up to Uh, and with them increasing the big mac price i wonder how much that's going to cost over a lifetime a lot i don't know but anyways so uh the next thing we're going to get into is cine snacks um so it would have to take it would take him 91 years to eat if he only ate one a day to get to that number so that means he's he's eating eating breakfast lunch dinner maybe or yeah lunch or dinner jeez wouldn't you just get tired of it i mean i would i don't know and the thing is this dude doesn't even look that big yeah. He actually looks like, I mean, if you look him up, he's kind of goofy looking. I was going to say he looked normal. He doesn't look very normal. <laughs> he's got <laughs> sideburns that go uh, all the way down here. It, then I think it is the guy and from like the documentary. And, like, long hair with, like, a bull haircut on the front, but with, like, a mullet in the back. Look, on the, look up the documentary and see if he's casted. Hmm. But while you're doing that, I found the movie that I'm going to do for Cine Snacks. So I'm going to write it down. And then I'm going to show show everyone. He, he, yeah, he's in it. <laughs> okay, that's what I thought. He is in it. That's funny. Yeah, that's yep, crazy. He's listed on there. All right, so if, all right, so I'm going to show them the movie for Cine Snacks. So you can't look. Oh, I'm not looking. All right. And go. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. No, well, I no, do no, have no. to think of, uh, let's think. I do have to think of clues, um, and it's been a while since I've seen this movie, so I, I really hope the punishment for this is that I have to eat more McDonald's. Because <laughs> yeah. well, that wouldn't really be a punishment. Doesn't, this doesn't count towards my diet because we're both doing it. True. It's for the podcast. Those calories don't count. That's true. That's why I was able to have all this food. Yeah. Fair. Fair. Um, let's see. Um, it's another episode where we cleared everything. Yeah, I'm not, that's I'm true. I'm not surprised. Yep. Compared to last episode. Yeah, last episode. When we had bananas and mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's just funny. Um, I'm not really going to find good clues for this without giving it away. Then just give it away. Um, Please. <laughs> oh, why did I, I Why did I erase that? Why did you? Okay, I showed them. Um, I'm thinking of the clues. I think that's why... I tried to er- erase it. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. Do, 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 okay. Do, do. All right. Okay. Wait. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Are you ready? I, n- <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. Okay. I have to ask questions. That's right. Yes. I was waiting for you to say something. Okay. okay. You ready? I think so. Three, two, one. Is this from the 90s? No. 2000s? No. 80s? No. 2010s? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we need to get away from those. <laughs> we, 2010 to 2015? Uh, um, yes. Okay. Um, is it animated? Um, no. Okay. Uh, action movie? Yes. Uh, a lot of fighting? Uh, yeah. Is it part of a, a a larger franchise or is it a standalone movie? Standalone movie. 
is it have a white male lead? It does. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, is there a love interest? Um, yes. Yes. Um, is it uh, a, there is, but it's not like the main focus. Is it a famous director? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Um, is there music involved at all in the movie? No. Any animals okay. in the movie? So some of the stuff it, he has done is popular, but he's not that I want to say he's famous. Um, is what? the main guy really famous, like really big? Yes. Tom Hanks? No. <laughs> Not an action movie. Well, maybe 40 years ago. Um, man. I you still have clues, too. I don't know how much time Oh, you clue. Have. Uh, um, I have 35 seconds. Um, rich. Clue. Uh, power. Clue. <laughs> uh, um... You're wasting uh, my time. <laughs> uh, writer, like writing writer. Rich power writer. Uh, I don't know what I didn't see what time we started. I have eleven seconds. Oh, okay. Writer. This is good. this is a tough one. I can't think of anything. Okay, my time's up. Okay, so it's rich. <sighs> Power writer. I think I should get an extra 30 seconds because you were wasting my time. Yeah, sorry. Well, or I could give you another clue. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Um, uh, let's go with, um, I think it's set in New York. So, New York. A writer in New York who's rich. Rich and see. powerful. Did you say powerful? What mm -hmm. did you say? Yeah. Where uh, um Okay, let's man. see if I got this. In New York. Yeah. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. Yeah, I think it's uh, <laughs> it's the biggest is is, is it looks like it, it were New York City. Hmm. Not animated action movie with fighting. There's a couple other questions you didn't ask um, that should give it away. No, I was about to say this, but that's part of a larger franchise, so I can't say that. I will say it's also um, this will kind of uh, this will also help with with the time I took away. Is uh, it's it's more of a sci-fi movie <gasps> too, so that I'm might not help. Raising this answer, <laughs> so maybe that helps. That's what happened last time. I forgot to ask sci-fi. Mm -hmm. so Sci-fi. This one I think would be really challenging if you don't know the specifics of it. And Man. I gave you some specifics, but they're also not specific specific. All right. I don't have an answer, so I'm writing this, and it's not going to be true at all. Okay. Let's see. What is it? Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that, that was 80s, wasn't it? I, um, oh, it's so, true. I wasn't yeah. even thinking of the decade. <laughs> so if I would have said, like, think of anything. if I would have said, like, mind or, like, Intelligence would that have changed anything? I can't no. think okay. of anything. Uh, Limitless. I've not seen that movie. It's very very good with Brad uh, Bradley Cooper and Robert De Niro. I haven't heard of it, but I've not seen it. Super super good. But he basically takes this pill that allows you, you know, they to be say, limitless. Well, they <laughs> say you know, well, your mind is limitless. Mm. So it's like you take this pill and it allows you to access all all parts of your mind instead of you know the small percentage that's that they right. claim to have that's how but you have access to 100 percent of your brain's ability um so he was a writer a struggling writer i don't he think he became like a financial wizard through i don't think i would have ever gotten it <clears throat> yeah well it was yeah that was because a tough i've one. never seen it that was a tough one but thankfully your punishment isn't too bad today so your punishment is to eat three big macs no, <laughs> no. that would have been a nice one but it's I don't know what this is going to be. So, since it's it not It can't be worse than the fish. Since it's not Halloween time, uh, I couldn't find a full clown costume. <laughs> so, you're just going to wear the wig, but it's uh you're you're going to you're Ronald McDonald. Ronald? Yeah. All right. So, let's see. I was going to get face paint and stuff, but I was like, "Eh, you can just wear the wig." Let's see how this it looks. This is not that bad. No. 
I kind of like it. I felt a little bad with the fish on the last episode, so that one's not bad. There you go. How does the? You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's not even gonna stay. Yeah, I think that's fine like that. Oh wait. Oh, I see. How do you attach this? Uh, it should have a clip. Yeah, they should clip like that. Right? I know, but do they want you to put it under your chin? I don't know. Unless it clips in the back. I don't, I don't think you, it I don't clips know if you guys can hear me because I'm leaning back. Um, well, whatever. That looks good. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to have the strap, but it looks good. There you go. Ronald McDonald. I, th <laughs> I think the chin makes it look greater. But yeah. yeah. It really defines my double chin. There you go. It looks good. So any uh, anything you want us to digest for this week? Oh, man. I didn't even think about digesting. You got um, some of your hair on the on your neck. Feel your neck. What? Right there. Oh, I have a big that, chunk of hair. I don't know how that got done. Put it right back on top. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, we've done movie rec recommendations. You did a uh, band recommendation. Yeah. My recommendation, this makes my uh, my jaw springy or uh, like my mouth <laughs> it closes. Like my mouth it <laughs> shuts it. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, my recommendation this week is actually a food recommendation. Ooh, okay. I mean, this is a food and movie podcast. Yeah, absolutely. So my food recommendation, and I think I actually introduced you to this food as well. Oh. And we were texting about it extensively earlier this week, is Thai iced tea. <sighs> Do love I highly thai recommend tea. the Thai iced tea. Yeah. Um, you can get Thai iced tea at, if you have a local Thai restaurant, or even some other um, Asian restaurants might have Thai iced tea. Yeah. But Thai iced tea is basically the Thai tea, which is a black tea, but they also add some other spices and things to it. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes your tea very orange. Mm -hmm. But then they also add, um, to make the Thai iced tea, like the drink, they add um, sweetened condensed milk and regular milk. So it's like this really sweet, rich, yeah, delicious iced milk coffee beverage. Yeah. It's and so I was good. attempting to make it this week, but I didn't have all the right stuff. But if you go to a Thai restaurant and get a Thai iced tea, oh, so good. Yeah. If you've not tried it and if you figure out like a tea person, because I know some people don't like tea. Mm hmm. Um, it's almost like a dessert, though, to me. Yeah, it's like <clears throat> it's like getting, I don't know, like borderline getting like a Frappuccino at Starbucks type yeah. of deal. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's not like thick like a milkshake. Right. But in terms of the sweetness and just the milk and the and the flavor. Yeah. Um, th but Thai iced tea is just so good. I used to, when I, I worked over um, at a car wash a long time ago, and there was a Thai place near there. And so I would go over there and get Thai iced tea all the time. Oh, yeah. No, um, so good. So good. And you can make it at home, too. If you can You can order the loose leaf Thai iced tea at home. You don't probably don't want to get the powder stuff because then it just already has the powdered milk and everything in there. Get real loose leaf Thai iced tea, and it's really easy to make. Yeah. You just brew the tea, and you add the milk and the sugar or the sweetened condensed milk. And whoosh so good yeah so so good that's my recommendation that's yeah. the only thing i could think of because it's just something that i feel like a lot of people have probably had it but i know there's some people who hadn't because you didn't try it no that's true and and we went to a thai place and i'm like you need to try thai oh tea. yeah yeah and i think yeah, i changed a, your life forever yeah absolutely <laughs> no i think that's another you had two two uh fun drinks that you introduced me to which was the mango lassi and then oh. the Thai iced tea. Both were really Mango good. Mango Lassi. Yeah, yes. both super good. So, no, great. That's a great I one. I might as well digest. recommend a Mango Lassi, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know we mentioned that earlier. I think on the Guardians uh, episode we mentioned uh, Mango Lassi. But since we're doing yeah, the it's Digest. Like a, it's like a mango <clears throat> yogurt drink. And you get them at uh, Indian restaurants. Indi yeah, it's an Indian yeah. thing. Super good. So, so good. Awesome. Well, great. I don't yeah. know how to make a Mango Lassi. Yeah. Maybe we can figure it out. Google it. Maybe we can do uh, if if there's is a movie there that has Mango Lassi, Indian we can try movie? it. I would be interested Slumdog to do Dog like Boy? do like a uh, that's true. Do like uh, some Bollywood movies. I don't yeah, know. or uh, Lion. Is Lion. that is that what it's called? Lion. I think that's what it's called. It has the guy from Slumdog Millionaire in it. Uh, 
I think it's called Lion, but I hear that one's pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> but well, you can check it There's out. There's lots of different um, Bollywood or just in Indian movies. Oh, like in general. RRR. Have you? I have not seen it's RRR, but I want to see. <laughs> it's fun. The, the the whenever I hear the name of that movie, the I, Natu the, Natu song. No, the oh. the meme where RRR got a uh, an award. Oh and yeah, yeah. And, and, and the, the and, girls reading and it, and they're reading it off. Or the woman's And, and the caption yeah. was, "When when the seals, when the trainer comes out with the seals lunch or yeah. something, <laughs> and they're going r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r r Thai iced tea, do it. If you've never tried it and it doesn't sound good to you, I don't care what you think. No. Nope. You need to try it anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, that's yeah. my recommendation for today. Nice. So um, as we wrap up this episode, it's been a sweet and savory adventure through um, McDonald's and through the founder. Really great movie and good fast food. I mean, you can't go wrong. Um, it, check us out on um any of the podcasting platforms we got apple music or apple podcasts rather we got spotify google podcasts we also have the video version on uh youtube if you're listening check out the video version you can see me with my ronald wig on so yeah, there we go <laughs> with that bon, bon appetit, appetit and, and happy, happy viewing, viewing.